invasion of Leyte by the U.S. Uh, forces uh, in uh, 1944, the Uliti Atoll was used by Admiral Hansi as uh, a staging area. This is about three times Scarborough Shoal, but look at uh, the forces that uh, he was able to deploy within uh, Uliti. Uh, the battleships, aircraft carriers, transport ships, destroyers, etc., etc., in that small piece of real estate uh, in the Pacific Ocean. That's Uliti. Uh, this is uh, Bajo de Masenlo or Scarborough Shoal. China grabbed Scarborough Shoal in April 2012, uh, 13 years after I delivered my privileged speech warning about uh, China's intention on the Scarborough Shoal. So by July 2012, China erected a barrier to the entrance of the shore, preventing our fishermen, uh, practically uh, annexing it. Now, let's talk about the next stage, which will be the massive uh, reclamations. Uh, I think many of us are very familiar with this. This started in 2013, and I'd like to show you one by one. Uh, some of these areas, uh, these are the reclamation areas. Some are within the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines. Some are outside, but very close to our EEC line. The expansion in the West uh, Pacific uh, Ocean area and uh, what would happen uh, once they complete the expansion. And, and look at this. Uh, for example, uh, Johnson Reef. This was Johnson Reef uh, on February in February 2013, in just one year, they're able to construct such a big uh, reclamation area there. Uh, this is the structure, and that was the that is the structure now. Look at uh, the land around that uh, small, and look at all the development there. Uh, look at all the buildings that they have uh, constructed as of August 2014. I don't have the, the latest figure but uh, the latest photo, but you can imagine what uh, they have completed so far. This is uh, Hughes uh, Reef. Uh, that was the original structure. Now uh, they have this uh, structure in just a matter of a little over one year. Quarteron uh, Reef, another massive reclamation from this original uh, uh, structure, practically all sea now. It's uh, a lot of land there. Cave and Reef, uh, the same, it started in 2014, August 2014 and 2015. Uh, from the small structure that you could barely see, now it's uh, one uh, complex already. Fire Cross, this is one of the major reclamation projects, Fire Cross, very important. Fire Cross is practically all water. And uh, this is the original structure, but now they have this structure and they are now in the process of constructing a 3,000 meter runway in Fire Cross Reef. Very important. This is very important. Subi Reef, another important uh, area uh, from practically all water with just a small uh, structure. Now they have this long area and uh, they're also constructing a 3,000 uh, uh, meter runway in uh, Subi Reef. <coughs> this is uh, BC Reef. Uh, well within uh, the, 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 the first uh, move uh, within our exclusive economic zone uh, from uh, just a small dot, now they have this area and uh, our projection is that they're also constructing a 3,000 meter runway here. So once completed, they'll have three areas, three runways, three uh, long unsinkable aircraft carriers uh, in the South China Sea. And once they, they do that, these are the things that uh, they can do. You know, you look at uh, this radius here. Uh, if uh, they position, for example, a J-11, those uh, runways that they have, the airship that they have, and other supporting facilities that are being built on Pirate Cross Reef, for example, they can uh, deploy a variety of uh, planes, fighters, bombers, UAVs could be deployed or stationed there. Uh, they can control the entire South China Sea just by uh, Pirate Cross Reef. But uh, now they have three major installations, Subi and uh, Missy Reef. <coughs> they can use that to gain a stronghold for anti-access area denial. 
and that is of course aimed at uh, primarily the U.S. Navy.